What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, we're going to be discussing the Nintendo NX and how it's going to compare to the PlayStation Neo and the Xbox Scorpio. Of course, these next generation iterations of current generation consoles, <laughs> that's a lot to say, uh, are looming on the horizon. We know that the PlayStation Neo is looming and supposedly it was going to be released this year. I don't see that happening at this point, but it still might. And of course, we got the revelation earlier in the year from Microsoft that their project Scorpio is on the horizon and due to be released next year, holiday 2017. So Nintendo's NX is supposed to be released in March of 2017. We haven't seen this console. New leaks and speculation have come out about it. And now I want to talk to you guys about whether or not this thing is going to be anywhere in comparison to power to the PlayStation 4, PlayStation Neo, Xbox One, and Xbox Scorpio. I'll drop a link in the description. Nintendo NX will be weaker than the PlayStation Neo and Xbox Scorpio due to the NVIDIA Tegra processor. Nintendo NX is still a mystery to most people as the company has not confirmed the specs yet, but new rumors and leaks are now claiming that it will be focused on mobile gaming. Now this is actually true, more and more rumors have come out and a lot of this stuff has been backed up by reputable sources that the Nintendo NX is going to be more of a handheld system, one that you can actually sit into a dock and connect to your television. Now earlier reports have claimed that the Nintendo NX will not be as powerful as the upcoming PlayStation Neo from Sony or Microsoft's new Xbox Scorpio. However, new reports now seem to claim that the console from Nintendo won't even be at the same level as them. Digital Foundry found out that the Nintendo NX chip that the company used was actually just a Tegra mobile processor from NVIDIA. That means that the new console will only be as powerful as NVIDIA's tablets powered by the Tegra chip, like the NVIDIA Shield. Uh, now that's, to me, still speculation. No one said that the Tegra 1X is the chip that's going to be used. It might be the new NVIDIA Tegra chip, so that's still kind of out there. We don't know that for sure, but if the reports turn out to be true, it means that Nintendo's console that will supposedly take on PlayStation Neo and Project Scorpio will not actually be able to do so considering they can only power mobile games. However, the earlier reports have shown that the Nintendo NX will have stream play capabilities similar to Nvidia's Shield project. The Nintendo NX would have a base console that would need to be plugged in at home before players can stream their games to the portable display on the go. In addition, the new reports also claim that the console would indeed return to the classic cartridge style but would obviously be taking on a more modern touch similar to the Nintendo 3DS portable consoles. Nintendo could lose gain in the console wars as the reports also claim the graphics power of the console cannot really be compared to the Xbox Project Scorpio or the PlayStation Neo. The company is reportedly trying to squeeze in all the tech into the handheld Nintendo NX, which is not what most fans and customers are expecting. The company might need to clear up the rumors now, as the Nintendo NX release in March 2017 is fast approaching. Nintendo refuses to comment. Of course they're refusing. I think Nintendo is about to blow the fucking roof off the house. Believe it or not, guys, the stuff that we've been hearing about the Nintendo NX is actually really, really exciting to me. Uh, of course, it's using this NVIDIA Tegra chip. NVIDIA's Tegra chip that's actually in uh, the development kits for the NX is actually one that's over a year old. It came out last year, and it's pretty dated. They actually have a follow-up to this Tegra chip coming out sometime uh, toward the end of the year that hasn't been used in anything else. They haven't used it in any tablets, not the NVIDIA Shield. It's something that we all know is on the horizon, but no one has seen it. So there's also new speculation that this new Tegra chip from NVIDIA is actually the one that's going to be used mainly for the Nintendo NX. Now, this thing is going to be more powerful than the PlayStation 3, more powerful than the Xbox 360, more powerful than the Wii U, but it's going to be a handheld. So for me, the excitement factor is this. It's a handheld that will give you a home console experience. Not only that, when you play this thing on the go, if you're sitting on the bus with your brother or your sister or your, your cousin or your homie, and you're playing an awesome console worthy game on the bus as you're traveling across town, you can pop off the side of this thing, which is a controller, hand it to your friend and you guys can play co-op together. And, and it's a console ready experience. I don't think Nintendo has to beat PlayStation or Xbox when it comes to the hardware aspect because they're revolutionizing the way that we play games. It's a handheld that turns into a home console when you when you sit it on the dock. It's a handheld that comes out of the box ready for local multiplayer and it's ready for console quality games. Look at the technology behind the 3DS game little game cartridges and the PlayStation Vita game cartridges. Look what they were able to squeeze onto those things years ago. 
Of course that technology is advanced, and I'm pretty sure Nintendo has got their, their finger on the pulse of that technology at this point. So I'm, I'm pretty excited about it. I'm not really worried about the Nintendo NX being able to compete with PlayStation and Xbox. It seems like PlayStation and Xbox are going at each other. Let them kill each other. Nintendo is carving out their own niche. And once again, it looks like they're revolutionizing the game. You guys let me know what you think in the comments below. Be sure to give a thumbs up. Show support for the channel, guys. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter. Share the video on your favorite social media sites. And tell all your friends about me. I'm the Beastly Gamer. I'll see you guys next time. Let it go.